Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a very, very basic Python scripting tutorial. And if you already know a bit of scripting and other languages, you should really skip this video. If you know nothing about scripting, this will be a good start leading up to my Python auto-rigging tutorial for Maya. Python is a pretty straightforward language and it's easier to read than, for instance, Mel. So it's recommendable for first-time scripters to start out learning Python. Let's go ahead and define a variable. Now a variable can be anything you want. In this case, I'm just going to go with x as the variable. I'm going to set x to equal 1. Now 1 is an integer, which means it's a whole number, positive or negative. Now if I run x in the editor, you can see that it gives me a result of 1. Now the result is, of course, the value that I assigned to the variable x. So if I go ahead and create a variable called y, and make it equal to, when I run the script, x plus y, it gives me the result 3, because it's combining x and y. Now a more clean way to see the result is by printing it. So type in print, and the same command. Now you get a 3 instead of the result colon 3. You can also print strings. So here I'm making a string. Note though that you cannot combine an integer and the string. So let's get rid of the integers. and I'm printing the string. Now there's a third type as well. I'm going to set set to be equal to 1.4. Now this is a float. A float is basically a number with a comma. So if I print set, I'll get the float value, 1.4. Since both integers and floats are numbers, I can combine those by using the plus. But note that Python is case sensitive. So since I defined y as a capital Y and I used a small y in my print sentence, it's not going to work. And it's complaining that the variable has not been defined. So once I make the y capital, you'll see that the print command works. So make sure you're very consistent with capital letters in your scripting. To use Python in Maya, you need to import the Maya commands. You do this by importing the maya.cmds as cmds. So once I've done this, I can go ahead and create a sphere, for instance. I can also go ahead and delete it using another command. I only need to enter the name of the object in the delete command. You can import the Maya commands as anything you want. But the most used command is the cmds one. Let's create a sphere. Now I can choose to deselect it by using a boolean. Now a boolean is either true or false.
To put it simply, true is equal to 1 and false equals 0. So if you want to set an object's visibility to invisible, you want to set it to false. 1 means positive and 0 means negative or nothing. You can also enter the name into the select command. Now if you have the object name, you can manipulate the object's attributes. For instance, the translate x attribute of the object. Let's set the translate x to 5. Or 15. If you're in doubt what the commands are called, you can always use the callback to find out what attribute you're looking for. For instance, if I type in something in the translate x, Maya will give you a mail callback. You can easily translate this callback into a Python command. If I alter the scale, you can see it gives me nerbsphere1.scale. So if I put that into my script underneath, I can alter the scale. I can also use the Python command reference online, which you find through the help menu of Maya. Since Maya gives you callback commands, you can always look those up online. Now what we just used was rotate, so I can search for rotate online. Now there's a lot of information on this command, but if you scroll to the very bottom, you can copy the example code and paste it into your Maya script editor. When you run it, you can see what it does, and it's a good way to learn the basics. If you want to make comments and notes in your script, you can use the hashtag or square. And that's the basic introduction to Python scripting in Maya. Now you're ready to go to my next tutorial on how to create an auto rig. Oh, and don't make an infinite loop.